Hello everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Tom Rizzano and you are in for a treat. This is another episode of the world famous University Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call the show Online Marketing Moves and we are coming to you live today. Today is Monday, December the 6th, 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about coming back from the dead okay we all know easter is about the resurrection of jesus okay you know they say he died on the he died at the cross on the cross he died for our sins and then he rose back up okay and so we you know now it's not it's it's not quite that dramatic but we are going to talk about bringing back a dead email list we are going to talk about let's say you haven't emailed your list in months months and months and months and you find it and you say what should i do with this email list ladies and gentlemen what you should do is give it some cpr you know give it some mouth to mouth resuscitate it see what you can do to bring it back see if you can get a few of those people to respond to react See if you can regenerate that email list. Now, one one way to avoid this situation is to email daily. You know, email daily every other day. You should email daily though. But if you do not, do not go months and months and months at the time without emailing your list. Now, I made this mistake once, 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 once the baby was born. I said, you know. I'm emailing sometimes it's not hard but I just would forget and I'm like all right I got an email I got an email and then I will forget again and it's like come on you got an email and so you get into this trap and after a while it's just like I yeah, forget about it but I decided yesterday no not yesterday but I decided some last week I said you know what I'm gonna get this my email list and one of my email lists I said I'm gonna get them back and I'm gonna start emailing them every day from now from now to the end of the year, and that way we can get the momentum started for next year. And then I wrote them this long email, and I wrote this long email, and I talked about how you know I'm gonna make up you know this that and the third. But one one way that you can get your email list back is give them an offer. You know, if you have a PDF, if you have a you know like a little book, you know, give that to them for free. You know, and say, hey, resign, resign back. You know, you can start a fresh list. You can say, hey, for those of you that want the free book and the resign back up to my email list, then go to this link right here. Blah 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 blah. blah you know, and f- for for me, what I said was, for me, I told the people, I said, I'm not gonna offer you anything. I'm not gonna charge you anything. I said eventually I said I'm gonna make a make a because you know first off you don't want to promise anything you can't keep I said I'm gonna make a PDF and by March I'm gonna give that to you for free and I, and I said but for the next couple months the only thing I'm gonna do is promote the podcast and that's it that's all I want them to do listen to the podcast get to know me and then if they like me they can stick around if not they can adios but that's the only thing I want that's the only thing I said so I'm going to email you every day about the podcast. And so that's my goal. Every day for the next two months, I'm just going to email people about the podcast on my list. And we're going to grow and we're going to get, we're going to start a new list and grow that list. And then, you know, next year, we're really going to start making offers on a daily basis. Because as I told you before, we talked about this ad nauseum. You want to build up a store. And we will discuss more about that tomorrow. And so you just want to do the best you can to now listen we all make mistakes if you make a mistake and you don't email people for a long time it's fine but don't make the mistake twice you know come back the second time tell them what happened you know you don't have to say you you know tell them what happened tell them you know what can you know what can you do to get them back and then you work on it you know you make them an offer or you tell them hey listen to my youtube videos listen to the podcast read my blog post whatever you have to do but just keep emailing them every day for a month or two. You know, certain people are going to just, some people just stay on your email list. It doesn't matter if you never email them, okay? Some people are going to immediately jump off as soon as you start emailing them again. And that's fine, too. 
you want people to either you want this is what you don't want you don't want somebody just sit, sitting on your email list you don't want people sitting on your email list that don't read the emails and do nothing you want them to either respond or unsubscribe that's what you're looking for you're looking for a positive or a negative you're not looking for the middle positive negative in the middle no good you don't want mundane you want positive you want negative just like I used to I was, one time I wrote four emails in a, four emails in one day Boom, 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 boom. Had a lady say, please unsubscribe me. I said, no, unsubscribe yourself, okay? Boom. That's what you want. You want positive feedback or you want or you want people to unsubscribe. You don't, you don't, well, you want sales, but you don't care about the, the worst kind of people the ones that sit on the fence. Those are the ones you don't want. And so when you have a dead email list, they, 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 you just have a whole bunch of people sitting there in, you know, purgatory, you know, and you don't want that. You want them to either be on email list responding now everybody's not gonna buy everything we all know that you know that i know that but you want people that's going to be active participation you want that because it doesn't matter if you have the if you have a million people in email list and nobody responds nobody buys anything then you just have a million people on the email list it's just a waste of time you know what i mean you just sort of you know it, it's 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 pointless but if you have 1500 people on email list and you have p people buying from you all the time every you know doesn't it's not gonna be all 1500 at once but if you have you know let's say 50 100 people buying from you on a daily basis bada boom bada bing you're making money boom 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 you're making money all right and that's what you want at the end of the day the goal is for any business it's not to say i have a business not to say look look guys i got an llc the goal is for you to generate revenue all right that's the goal and this is why we email on a daily basis make the mistake of not emailing that's fine come back start over get the people back if they don't come back that's fine too they're either gonna come back or they're gonna unsubscribe that's what you want shake the tree as hard as you can all right and you can email them twice a day you can email them you can email people if you have a real strong offer sometimes email them three times a day you know what i mean like sometimes you have to sometimes you want to flush out the people all right so email every day email at least once every day you know sometimes you should do it twice a day just to shake things up make things different but you know you want to wake up the dead you know you want to bring them bring them back bring them back all right and so ladies and gentlemen with that being said that is it for the podcast we will be back tomorrow with all new episode of online marketing and moves but until then my name is Tony Rizzano. Thank you for listening. Um, tell everybody you know about the best podcast in uh, podcast land. We talk about marketing. We talk about entrepreneurship. We talk about the things that you need to run a successful business. All right. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. And as always, everybody, peace.